Well, hello there, all my poor people. It's Michael Dieterich here. I'm just a poor boy. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back, as the case may be. Today, I wanted to share a, a minor secret with you, which may be major for you. Um, I get a lot of compliments. I love it that um, I'm good with color choices. People like my color palettes. Now, I'm going to give a lot of credit to my father, who I didn't learn that till years later, because uh, I always assumed it was my mom who was picking out colors uh, for things. But my dad had a very interesting uh, taste for colors. And you'd look at like what he would pick out, and then he would put them together and you'd go, that's brilliant. Um, back in our house in um, Tennessee, he painted uh, half of the walls in the office like a, a a forest green and then the other half was like a burgundy color and then the ceiling was like a rust color and I was like well, what are you talking about but he bought like this border wallpaper like five inches ten centimeters uh, thick that ran along the top that had those colors in it and it connected all together and that office was gorgeous I mean if when you describe it to me I would have said never but when I saw it, I was like, fantastic. So I think my dad helped me have like a sensitive feeling for colors. Um, because I worked in the theater for years as well, I worked with colors, especially when it came to light. I always talk about coloring with light and enhancing the mood of the audience with light. Um, I often use light in a different way than people think it's, they say it's intended for. Uh, for example, I sometimes use lights that kind of shine towards the audience and normally that's used as like backlighting but i'm like trying to get your eyes to pick up on this color like someone's getting angry and i have like these red lights kind of like slowly coming on and they come on so slowly you don't notice but as the person is building up this red it's yeah they're saying like you see red in the corner of your eyes you're literally seeing red in the corner of your eyes because of this but pigment is different than light because when you paint with light you know if you take a red and blue and green and shine them all together in the middle, you get white and people go, well, that makes, how, how does that happen? That's how light works. But if you take pigment and you put red and blue and green together, you get another interesting shade of brown. So when it comes to picking my um, colors, I believe in a lot of contrast. Um, sorry, not necessarily a lot, but I believe in contrast. I can pick a bunch of like nice light colors, but I want something to play it off. I also really enjoy in most of my pieces to always include at least one uh, metallic. And that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, gold, silver, copper, bronze. Um, you've got like, you know, pewter as well, which is really interesting, graphite. And oh, don't forget, um, there's some beautiful metallic colors as well. Um, Artists acrylics, I've used them in several of my uh, paintings here online as well. And they make They've got like a metallic turquoise that I just love. Their metallic blue, metallic purple. All of their metallics are great. Um, I always just say, just be careful with it because that shine that comes from that metallic adds to the dominance. So I always use a little bit less of that paint in there because the metallic factor is going to like almost increase its size as far as your feeling goes. Yeah. But I discovered a little secret and I wanted to share it with you because if you're not good at picking colors, but you know what you kind of like, this is great. Imagine you have like a photograph at home that you took on vacation of like, you know, mountains and you just, oh, you look at that and you go, it's beautiful. Or like a sunset in the forest. Yeah. Or even, a, you know, a picture of you and your best friend on vacation, you know. Sometimes there's something about that picture where you go, oh, the color is just so right, yeah? That you go, how could I capture that in a painting? Now, I know a lot of people go to Pinterest and they look up palettes and they just go through thousands and thousands of palettes. And some people are like, oh, palette with blue. And there's still thousands and thousands and thousands, which still requires you to kind of like pick and, you know, like make a decision. Now, I have found a program on Pinterest and it's been a secret to a couple of successful paintings, especially when I'm like, I feel like painting, but I'm uninspired as far as the color goes. And that does, doesn't always happen. Or if I'm specifically going a route where I go, I, I want to use a specific colors from an image that's in my mind. And how do I decide what those colors are? So as I said, most people use Pinterest to 
uh, look up color palettes so you probably have Pinterest. If you don't, Take a look at it, but you're going to go to your Pinterest page. I'm going to go uh, with you here. Now, because this pin is so handy, I have it saved in my acrylic pour collection. I'm going to scroll down. You're going to look for the color palette generator from Canva Colors. You see it here, left center. If you click on that, it will take you to the card with this go to canva.com button. Click on that, and you'll see this purple button that says upload an image. If you hit that, it will allow you to select an image from your laptop. Now, my screen capture program won't allow you to see my files, so you can't see, but I've selected this for a sunrise picture I showed you earlier, and when you upload it, you get this. Fantastic palette. You can even crop the picture a little bit and will change uh, the colors a little bit because some colors might get more or less dominant. Now, all I have to do is add a black base and a metallic color, and I've got a brilliant palette. Beautiful. Now the other great thing is you can actually also do this just with any picture and especially with people you can do something nice, especially if someone has a picture of themselves that they love. So uh, back when I was on this uh, television show, I was a jury member uh, for singers in All Together Now. I met a fantastic human being. She's one of my favorite people, Muriel Blyde. Um, and she won uh, both times she was on the program fantastic singer and um she had this picture that i had screen i made a screenshot from the program and she goes oh i love that picture it's got my favorite colors in it and i love my dress and that background and that made me go huh so i took this picture of her this is the picture and i uploaded it into the canva.com color generator and it gave me these colors which i like thought oh that's pretty so I did a pour and this is the final result and I was like oh they're beautiful together so I gave this as a gift to Muriel later I went and saw her in a concert and she was like oh, it's, it's it's perfect it's just it's so like me it's like it's like my favorite colors and of course it is because it's from that image that she loves so much so it was a great way to make like the perfect gift for her. So I do pick a lot of my own palettes on my own, but if I'm really looking for, you know, inspiration when I'm uninspired, or if I want to make a piece specifically uh, for someone, uh, this is a great way to help inspire you, the canva.com color generator. Even if you don't use it, go check it out just because it's interesting. I'm, and I'm also, I'm not like, um, I'm not getting uh, any kickback. I'm not a affiliate, nothing, uh, but it's just something I use that has sometimes generated some brilliant ideas uh, for me and also made this fantastic gift. And that's what I wanted to share with you. Again, it's not really a tutorial, but I see so many people asking me about colors and how to generate colors. And there's tons of, you know, color theory videos out there. But if you're excited and just like, oh, I just want to paint something, you don't have to learn a bunch of color theory. I do suggest if you want to continue as a pourer to learn color theory, but this is a great way for beginners to um, help them pick colors so they can get straight to pouring. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Michael Dieterich. I'm just a poor boy. We'll see you next time.